Hi, welcome to Dirty Shoes Adventures and Texoma Road Trippers. This is going to be aired on both channels. I'm your host, Brandon. Uh, today we have a special guest to discuss his plans for his YouTube channels going into 2020. He will be joining us in, shortly via Verizon Cell Service if he'll agree to do it. So stick around, you won't want to miss this. <music> Actually, this guest has no idea about this little interview. Let me give him a call right quick, and y'all hang on just a minute. Get my phone. Do, do, do. Yeah, hello. Hey, Brandon. This is Brandon. Who? Brandon. Um, have you... Uh, um, have we lost our mind? Oh, no, well, not totally, anyway. Yeah, okay, I'll play along then. Uh, going good. Hey, I was just calling to see if you would do a little interview over at the, uh, YouTube channels. Kind of a little live interview to make a video with. Okay, I mean, you know, people are going to think, uh, you, me, us, uh, we are crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, you're probably right, but will you do it anyway? <laughs> sure, okay, yeah. Okay, cool, hang on. Okay, let me get the camera set up for this. Okay, joining us now is Brandon. Hello, Brandon. Hi, Brandon, and thanks for having me. My pleasure. So first, tell us, Brandon, what got you interested in making videos on YouTube? Hold on, wait, hold on, just a minute. Let me let me ask you a question first. Where uh, where are you uh, where are you at right now? The top corner of the screen, actually. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, you got me there. But really, where are you today? Uh, Brandon, I'm sitting inside my GMC Denali at uh, or in the Walmart parking lot. Very good, very good. Okay. Hold on, I can't hear you. So back yeah. to the question. What perked your interest in creating content for YouTube? To be honest, I was hoping to become a YouTube star and be able to spoil my family and travel the world. <laughs> a YouTube star, eh? Yep, but after watching myself on camera, I figured out real quick that I wasn't going to be the old version of the Pewdie PewDiePie. <laughs> Uh, yes, I think you uh, missed the boat on that one, Brandon. Yes, I did. But, you know, I got a comment from uh, one of my old coaches. And uh, he was also my driver's ed teacher. They had driver's ed? Back when you were in school? I didn't even realize they had cars that far back. <laughs> Funny, Brandon. A comedian, you're not. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, Brandon. Please continue. So, anyways, as I was saying... I got a comment thanking me for bringing him along since uh, he couldn't get around too well anymore. That is when it hit me. Uh, I had uh, my priorities out of line. Aren't your priorities still a little out of line, Brandon? Yeah, some are, actually. But uh, that's another matter that I cannot nor will not discuss that at this time. Uh oh. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, the comment got me to thinking and realizing that there was folks out there that, for whatever reasons, weren't able to go out and hike down trails or get out and do, get to some of the fishing spots I go to and plan to go to, or jump in their car and take a ride. 
and hit the road and go wherever. Speaking of gears, how do you obtain gears and hopefully lead that hopefully lead to subscribe subscribers to your channel? I don't have a lot of gears, but the ones I do have, I really appreciate each and every one of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there lies the tricky part of growing a YouTube channel. You absolutely have to have your content noticed by many, by so many people, uh, as, as, as many people as possible, really, or you're out of luck. YouTube will notice you more. Uh, uh, what am I trying to say? YouTube will uh, notice more people are watching your videos, so they'll start putting other videos you have created in the suggested list. But that is tough, so really, just having your viewers share your videos with their family and friends on their Facebooks and other social media sites helps drive viewers, which probably and hopefully will eventually lead to more subscribers and then monetization. Monetization? What is that? Now, monetization is what you're able to do with your videos and monetize them once you become part of the YouTube mm -hmm. Partnership Program. So what does that actually mean, and what does it require? Okay, at, so at this time, the requirements for becoming a part of the, becoming part of the partnership program is to have a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours. Once those requires are met, requirements are met, you have a, you can then apply to become a YouTube partner. And hopefully, if you are accepted, you can then monetize your videos. Companies buy time through YouTube to advertise their products or companies. YouTube then places ads on their videos, and you receive a small portion of the revenue earned through the ads, which to my understanding is not much. However, the pennies do add up. Uh, but where the where it gets better, better money comes into play is through affiliate marketing and of course the sales of your own merchandise, t-shirts and whatnot. Yeah, the big uh, affiliate market company is Amazon. Uh, you put uh, links down in the bottom of your description and. Uh, people like it and they click on those links and go buy it and you're in business uh, whatever you uh, want to share on your video you know whether it's a fishing reel or uh, could be a watch you know and if you put an affiliate link to Amazon on there and somebody buys it then you get a small commission it's pretty pretty straightforward and the cool thing is uh, even if they don't buy the fishing rail or watch whatever and they go from the fishing rail to say a cookware set and they buy that cookware I'll still receive a small commission of that sale since they went uh, through my Amazon affiliate link pretty cool I think and a great way to make a little money and it does not cost the shopper anything. So you're a part of the Amazon affiliate marketing program? I, w I was, yeah. But you have to be able to, t to uh, sell uh, three items a month, or I can't remember if it's three items a month or three items in the lifetime of it or every six months or whatever. But I think I sold one or two things and that was it. So they removed me from the affiliate program, which I get that. Uh, I will be joining back up though, but this time I want to make sure I have the traffic to support at least three sales. And maybe when I get three or four hundred subs and a steady, uh, sorry, subs or subscribers, and I get a steady flow of traffic, I'll join the program again. So y'all keep that in mind in the future. Okay, hold on. I want to clarify something 
first of all, you said a thousand subscribers to be eligible to join the partnership program. Are you saying you just need people to subscribe and you're set? Uh, not exactly. Remember I said uh, 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. Uh, I know a couple of people who have uh, the subscriber count now, but their view time is not there yet. So they can't monetize their channel. Clicking a video and watching it for 30 seconds does not add up very quickly very quickly yeah just don't add many watch hours it's best if you can watch the entire video or at least let it play in the background while you do whatever else there's a lot of content out there that people aren't as interested in as they thought they might be so they just click off and I you know I get that but if you want to help support and build a person's channel don't click off Mute the video audio, open another browser, or a new tab, and continue your quest. And that video will keep playing, and the watch time just adds up. And I mean, that works on the laptop, and I use Opera browser, so it, it does work on that. Uh, and that helps uh, drive the watch time up, big time. The more watch time, the more YouTube notices. The more YouTube notices, the more apt YouTube is to help promote your channels and content. Also, it helps to click the like button and consider leaving a comment. That shows interaction. And the algorithm on YouTube notices that. It picks that up. Now, all this helps get your videos noticed and your channel found. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So you heard it, folks. To help content creators on YouTube, don't just subscribe. Watch their videos all the way through. And then click the like button. And then share that video with your family and friends on all the social media sites. Also, something Brandon didn't mention was if you'll click the little bell icon. Uh, it's supposed to give notifications... Uh, to the subscribers when new content comes out. That is correct, Brandon. Okay, let's move on. Folks, don't go away yet. We all want to know what is in store for Brandon's YouTube channels in 2020. Thanks for staying with us. Remember, folks, if you have any comments or questions for Brandon or myself, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. So, Brandon. Yes, Brandon. People are going to think we've lost our minds. Yeah, probably. Well, yeah, at least we both pick, know people out of the state hospital, so when they haul us off, we will know a few folks out there. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, but at the very first of your call, I told you they were going to think we were cray-cray. Well, just go to show you great minds think alike. Uh-huh. Okay, well, let's continue. Let's. So, why two YouTube channels? Well, Brandon, Dirty Shoes Adventures was the first channel, and uh, we did all kinds of content on that channel. But then I got to thinking, some people may not be interested in fishing and hiking and stuff like that, but like the museum tour. So rather than jumping from one subject to a totally different one, I thought of uh, Texoma Road Trippers. So you're saying Dirty Shoes Adventures is for fishing and Texoma Road Trippers is for visiting museums? Yes, but that is uh, not all each channel offers. On Dirty Shoes Adventures you'll find fishing, yes, but you'll also uh, find hiking and biking. Oh, car oh. went by and kind of distracted me. Uh, hiking, biking, camping, and maybe a review or two. Or at least my, oh, I'm losing you again, or at least my thoughts on different items that have to do with outdoors. There's a lot out there uh, in the video list, so come have a look. Now, text on my road trippers, we went to places like Fort Sill to tour one of the museums there and visited Quanta Parker's burial site. That is a neat road trip. I really enjoyed that. 
We've also visited other places along the way to other places. Heading to Red River, New Mexico, we stopped at different places and did a little video and a little sightseeing. And there are a few places I want to revisit too. So basically, if you yeah, basically if you might get your shoes dirty, that is for dirty shoes <laughs> adventures. In places that you'll most likely keep your shoes relatively clean, you'll find that on Texoma Road Trippers. Both channels also have, uh, well, usually have photographs too. Normally they will be at the end of the video, but sometimes I might slide a few in the middle of the video. Okay, folks, don't go anywhere. We're almost done with today's program. So, any big road trip plans or big adventures coming up this year? You bet you there is. Well, don't leave us hanging. <laughs> what are they, Brandon? Okay, well, I don't know what all is coming. Uh, but believe me, you want to subscribe and click the bell for notifications so you won't miss any new content coming out. Uh, I do know right now there is a museum I want to visit that really soon. And it's not too far away from here, and it has to do with Indians. So if that's your cup of tea, uh, be sure to subscribe. That'll be on the Texoma Road Trippers. And as far as Dirty Shoes Adventures goes, I want to go canoeing and fishing on the Brazos. You know? So that will be coming out when it warms up a bit. And I'll probably go do some catfishing really soon. Though, because I've been craving some fresh fish and not the frozen stuff. I have a lot more in the works, but you'll have to subscribe and watch for those trips. But trust me, if you like museums and mountains, you'll want to subscribe to both channels. Sounds great, Brandon. I'm sure I'll think of more, uh, more to ask later. But one last question for you. Do you set New Year's resolutions? I used to abandon, but I really don't have, uh, really haven't done it in a long time. Okay, fair enough. But if you were going to set New Year's resolutions, what would it be? Well, if I was going to, I think my number go one. I think my number one goal would be to live healthier and happier. And I think with those two things right there, uh, that would make uh, other people around me more happy happiness reflects off of you and people pick up those vibes and they become happy but if you're always down and out and boring and mad at the world you're not living healthy yeah my number two goal i'd like to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of 2020 on both channels that would be really cool those sound great, Brandon. Okay, I know you're a busy man, so we'll end this now. I want to thank you for joining us today, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Well, thanks for having me, Brandon, and I might add, I really like that shirt you have on. I have one just like it. <laughs> okay, y'all keep on keeping on, and I'll see y'all down the road. Bye. Well, there you have it, folks. A little insight on what monetization is and what affiliate marketing is as well as what is in store for Brandon's channels. So if you haven't subscribed yet please consider scrub, subscribing to both of his channels now. I'll put links down there in the bottom uh, in the description below. Uh, let's see if we can team up and push both of Brandon's channels well over that 1000 mark. <clears throat> If you like this type of content, be sure to let me know by clicking the like button and give me a little feedback by leaving a comment below. Be sure to join us next when we will next week when we will be talking with